Hey everyone, I'm Man Cup from Well.com. I hope everyone's doing good. So today we're gonna to be talking about plasma means. Tip number one is running two amps below the max uh, rating on your consumables. Let's say, for example, if you have a 60 amp consumables and I set my machine at 60 amps, lower it down to 58. So I'm gonna make a cut at 60 amps and then I'm gonna turn the machine down to 58. And I'm gonna show you it's not gonna affect your cut quality or your cut speed. All right, so overall, when you're looking at these and inspecting these, uh, the travel speed's nice and consistent. Our cut right here is all consistent. So drop your amps by two so you can extend the life of your consumables. All right, tip number two is drain your air compressor tank. On the bottom of your air compressor, you basically pop that open or unscrew that valve. You'll, hear, you'll see water coming out and, and hear air. So that tells you you're getting moisture inside your tank. If you don't drain that and it's, it keeps filling up in your tank, you'll suck that to, through your air lines and it'll come out through your plasma consumables. All right, we don't want water in our plasma, plasma consumables. That's very bad. So drain your tank every day, especially if you're in an area that lives with high humidity. So tip number three is use a different airline for your plasma. So a lot of people use an oiler system. Uh, basically what that is, it, it uh, throws oil inside your airline and lubricates all your air tools because you got needle bearings and everything. But uh, if you're using the same line as that oil, that, that oil feeder, well, that oil is gonna go inside your plasma. Even if you have a filter back there on your plasma, like this Everlast comes with one, it's still going to get inside there. It's gonna plug that filter up. What happens when the filter is plugged up? It's gonna bypass it because it needs to get air still through the system. So you're gonna get oil through there. Then it's gonna go through your lines in your plasma torch. Then it's gonna start ruining your consumables. What's oil do? It's combust, it'll burn. So it'll start burning a little bit and burn your nozzles even faster. All right, tip number four is, is this. This MotorGuard M26 model. Uh, everyone calls this a MotorGuard and that's what this is. This is a 0.01 micron. That filters out really, really good. Uh, basically, just put this on your air compressor. I put it on right where it comes out uh, and just adapt to it. You could do a quick disconnect where you could take this off and only use it for certain things. Uh, this is pretty inexpensive, 100 bucks. The filters are pretty cheap, just looks like a piece of toilet paper. I mean, this is really good. It'll filter down any particles, any oil, any dirt, rust from inside your tank because the water's getting in there. And if anything happens to this or it gets plugged up, it goes all the way over there and catches it on that one micron filter. So I got one at home. I recommend this for sure. This is, will definitely increase your life of your plasma and your consumables. Tip number five is allow post flow to stop before turning the machine off. All right, you hear that air going? We want to make sure that stops completely before we shut this machine off. Just wait and listen. All right, did you hear that? Okay, that machine's done. It cooled down. So you go ahead and shut that machine down. This will make your consumables last a little bit longer. Tip number six is allow your machine to cool down. So what I mean is, let's say you're cutting for an hour straight or two hours straight. And you go ahead and put your plasma stuff down and you go shut your machine down. So what happens? Well, your machine's hot already. That fan's cool and trying to cool it, cool it, cool it. Well, you just shut that power off. The fan's doing nothing. So all that heat inside there is just staying still. So it's getting hot and hot and hot. No air's moving by it. So that air has to pull cold air from outside the unit and pull it back in. The fan needs to be running. So walk away for 10 or 15 minutes and then come back. This is the best indication, I think. Um, so you take your hand. Make sure you're finding the external part, the, the, the part where the, fan, the air is blowing out of the machine. And just get in the habit. If you know you're cutting for a while, just go back there and just feel the air coming against your hand. If it's cold, good, shut it down, you're fine. When you're looking at someone's comment on Instagram and saying, oh man, my machine's broke. And you're always gonna thank me and say, yeah, I'm glad I listened to Man Cub and let that machine cool down. All right, so do that. All right, remember, well, mean, well, green.